So what is the big deal about mastering? Well, that actually goes back to the days of vinyl. You didn't used to have mastering engineers, you used to have cutting engineers. And they had to work within a set of constraints to get the audio from a mix onto the vinyl medium. So, for instance, to curtail the bass a little bit so that the uh, groove excursion from side to side didn't get excessive. Had to uh, curtail any nasty transients so that, you know, big loud snare crack or whatever so it didn't send the tone arm skating off over the uh, record. And things like they had to DS to a certain extent because um, excessive sibilance on a master recording might come across as distortion. Instead of sounding like it's on the record, it sounds like. <laughs> um, so there's a number of things they had to do to make vinyl records work and to be playable. Um, that all changed when CDs came along because none of those constraints really applied. So well, that was fine. The first few CDs were actually quite faithful transcriptions, you might say, of uh, the actual studio master mix. But then the novelty wore off when people start to think, well, quite like the way it sounded when it was on vinyl and it doesn't seem to have something that it used to have. So the cutting engineer became the mastering engineer and he started applying the same sort of processing to what they had been doing for vinyl, They're doing that when they were doing CDs and people started to think oh yes that sounds a bit more familiar. Um, and then someone somewhere worked out that if they applied some of the processing a little bit more heavily they could push the level up and get it louder um, and then somebody thought hang on a minute Fred Bloggs's records are louder than mine don't like that I want my record louder than his and so the CD loudness wars things came about um, and it's only just recently that people have actually started recognising that that was maybe just a bit of a cock up. But anyway. So we can talk about ironing out uh, idiosyncrasies in the recorded sound of the individual tracks for an album. Or we can talk about trying to compensate for deficiencies in tonality, level or whatever. But fundamentally, it comes down to making it sound like a record. And that's what mastering is really all.